Hey guys, it's Eagle, and today I'm bringing you a 1v1 on Twin Peaks between DCB in the Classic Angel and Rex in the Pumpkin Osprey. Rex is sporting the Raven Neo, so he's going for an extreme speed build, while DCB is going for the new Total Biscuit Pilot, which gives you some guns attack power, auto repair rate, and a new stat level up HP regen bonus, so when he hits level 2 or level 3, um, if he's low health, he will actually gain back more and more health than he would have normally. And DCB is actually going for a secret assassin rush. So he's probably setting those on Y. And they're going to go all the way down here, all the way to the red output base, I mean. And they will do some extreme damage to the uh, base because, well, on the corners they can do an extreme amount of damage but it looks like they, that first clump will go down to that light mine and the second clump going down to those other two light mines so now there's just that last third going so a lot of damage lost that he could have potentially done for Rex and it actually looks like Rex is AFK right now because he has not moved from his starting position since the start of the game and so these assassins will do some major work as you'll see on the corner of that base if Rex does not respond to it and this also gives DCB plenty of time to set up some tanks and start pushing out towards this bottom before Rex can move out towards his bottom outpost. And already almost a fifth of the health for Rex's base is gone just from that last clump of assassins. Imagine if there, if those mines had been set off previously by DCB and all these assassins had been there, Rex would already be dead. And Rex isn't even responding still. He's still AFK. I don't know why you would ready up in a 1v1 queue if you were not at your keyboard. And DCB now clearing all these neutrals, and those creeps will walk into that outpost. And Rex already down below half health. That's only like six assassins, and they knock down more than half the health in less than a minute. That's crazy. Um, I believe there is going to be in the next patch a fix so that the assassins do not do as much damage to armored units and buildings but right now as you can see it is very effective and DCB has now got a good surround on this bottom outpost and Rex still AFK although those creeps have killed the assassins so he is not taking any more damage but if DCB had dropped some more assassins he could have easily won the game I don't even think he knows that Rex is AFK although he has not um seen him yet and he's probably confused right now now that he sees that none of the uh, neutrals have been cleared although he hasn't scouted top so he may think that Rex is rushing top but there's no way to know that since he hasn't scouted and now he's massing seekers with some tanks and now building out some artillery he could really just push and take that bottom outpost but he's playing it safe and sniping these units with his angel and uh not able to finish off that T-99 yet though and now the artillery coming out and uh, they will kill that T-99 and ratchet and then go on to neutralizing the outpost so he can take it over Rex it is now three minutes Rex still AFK um, I don't believe he's built anything nope he hasn't moved and uh, I really like DCB's play though. It's kind of a uh, non-meta. You don't normally see an angel in uh, 1v1, and Rex now finally coming back, uh, seeing what's going on. He's lucky. This game could have easily been over if those light mines had not been there, or if DCB had played a little more aggressively. But he does now have a chance. He do has lost both of the outposts on the bottom but he does have plenty of money so he could easily get back into this game very quickly if he uh, builds his unit correctly and stalls DCB so that he cannot push and they are pretty much at the same uh, economy because DCB did not build any money makers so the only extra economy that DCB is getting is going to be from his extra outposts and Rex almost getting sniped down by DCB there but he is able to finish off uh, one artillery and does go down to that seeker there before he could... Well, he did finish off the second one, but it was a bad time 
because now DCB is pushing out all of his units and so they will be able to destroy these units along with his sniper fire and um, Rex now retreating and it looks like DCB will be able to grab that outpost once he gets some creeps and Rex placing some artillery down to try and uh, soften up DCB's units but DCB does have a really good surround and Rex now just building a tank line d d up in this corner here so that he can fight uh, across the little gap here and DCB now coming with some creeps and will grab that outpost. Rex trying to kill one but uh, is not able to before they walk in and does escape before he loses too much health. Looks like DCB did snipe one of the artillery there. Artillery pretty much um, get two shot by Angels pretty early game I think so it's really hard. Rex does kill DCB though. Um, he did circle Focus him, I guess, is what you could call it. But Rex really needs to body block this damage because he is at such a low health from those assassins in the beginning of the game. And those tanks are not uh, blocking any of the damage. And he is setting them so that they are in range so that they will kill him. But he now has less than a fifth of his health left. And uh, he is now sending out all of his units so that he can kind of counter push this so DCB cannot drop any tanks and for whatever reason DCB is now dropping tanks on Y but they're not on Y they're just focusing on their artillery so that gives Rex time to uh, place down some tanks and kill those units before they uh, destroy his base and if those had been set on Y the game would already have been over because there's literally almost no uh, health left on Rex's fort, but DCB instead is playing very safe and sniping down the last of Rex's units, but DCB has lost this close outpost of Rex's, and now just a single artillery and some tanks defending for DCB, and this one uh, Gemini is neutralizing that outpost, but more creeps walk in, and uh, DCB continuing to snipe more tanks, and uh, Rex actually bringing out ratchets and generators now. So that's an interesting combo, considering that he is nowhere near uh, Unicap anymore. And those tanks are very badly positioned because Rex has not repositioned them since he uh, sent them out. So they are all facing back towards uh, DCB, so he can snipe them twice as quickly. And DCB now setting up a good line where he can snipe from so that Rex cannot move any closer. But he is kind of far away to be sniping units. He is able to actually finish off uh, one tank, but Rex does micro away that second tank. So Rex is a really good saucer. So if you want to learn saucer play, definitely watch Rex because he is very capable of microing his units at such a high rate of speed, especially with that Raven. And uh, he is kind of just circling around, scouting out and distracting those Seekers while also focusing down DCB. And DCB actually goes down there. So Rex, uh, a saucer has almost no uh, turn rate, I don't know the stat name, but basically he can um, turn and fire pretty much instantly. Uh, in the air so he doesn't have to like really aim as much like if you were in a hog it would take a while for you to turn around and shoot at someone if they were behind you but a saucer can do it pretty much instantly so if you are a good aimer you can really just circle around and continually shoot at the enemy and if they are too busy uh, microing units to focus on their mech health they can easily die as you can see uh, DCB did there even in his angel and uh, I will be really surprised if Rex is able to take back this b base because uh, angels only get better in the late game because DCB now has his hyper rail ability so he is doing so much damage to these units he pretty much two shots everything but Rex is dropping down um, some distracting fire as well as his artillery are shooting down at this clump of tanks and DCB did not do a good job of microing his tanks because he was too busy sniping down Rex's units and so Rex is now pushing out and pretty much all of these tanks that DCB had down here are gone and DCB is not landing to snipe and he is instead going for a drop and uh, if Rex does not respond to this quickly uh, he will die to those Gemini drops but it looks like he is uh, quickly responding 
blinking away in his saucer, and DCB doing more drops, he's now getting desperate. If DCB had done this like five minutes ago, this game would be over, but now Rex is back in the game, and uh, he is quickly responding to everything DCB does, and DCB took too long to uh, realize that he just needed to finish this game, and now he does not have a good vantage to... Uh, drop from. He has to go all the way from this outpost or way down here and Rex has been able to successfully take back this bottom outpost so now map control is even and DCB doing more drops but Rex easily able to follow him and kill him before he's able to drop any of those tanks and DCB is now dead again and Rex is now pushing out towards this next outpost which is totally empty so he will be able to get map control back even though he was AFK for the first three and a half minutes of the game he is now able to take back map control and he is uh making sure that DCB does not do any more drops, and DCB still going for it, going to this forward outpost, but even if he goes, even though Twin Peaks is literally the best map you could possibly choose if you wanted to uh, do drops at the end of the game to finish them off, because the bases are so close, but and Rex has little defenses, he just has a few tanks, and DCB now going for it, but realizes he is so low on health, and all of this outpost energy has been drained, and DCB does go down again to Rex, and now all of these tanks are in a horrible position, and Rex is now pushing all of these, they pushed all on Y, he does have this bottom outpost as well, bringing more tanks, DCB is dead because that outpost ran out of energy, and Rex just continually focused him, and it's so hard to kill a saucer in the air, because it's so hard to follow them, especially in a slow mech relatively slow mech like the angel and DCB instead of doing drops is now just trying to snipe these tanks but there are way too many here and it looks like Rex will somehow get the comeback win here and that is GG DCB does go down to the tournament champion in 1v1 Rex and that grinder not doing enough actually I don't know whose grinder that was that might have been Rex's grinder let's see who had grinders here uh, they're both gone. Um, I believe that was Rex's grinder, though. And look, I won. No, I lost. But, uh, Rex did get five kills there in the end. Even though he was AFK, he was able to, as you can see, quickly, uh, gain back map control. Even though he did lose almost all, he didn't have any outposts at one point, and, uh, was at such low health, but DCB playing too defensively and not doing enough drops at the right times, waited too long to try and finish Rex off, and Rex was able to come back and take this victory. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later.